Hello. so readily and quickly to visit with you and members of my team to begin this process. All of it is in order to make sure that our nation, Ghana, continues to march forward as a functioning, effective, democratic state which respects the will of the people, which respects human rights and the rule of law, and where we are all secure in our daily life. We've spoken a little bit about the issues that have occurred in the, uh, the seeming lawlessness that has taken place over the thing. And I, I express my uh, happiness at his intervention yesterday in speaking to the country about what, what was going on and uh, the reinforcing of, of the authority of the state to make sure that these matters are dealt with. So this is the reason why he's here and I thought we should uh, give you a brief outcome of the visit. It has been a very warm and uh, constructive feeling. The President and I have known each other for nearly 20 years. <laughs> we met in Parliament in 1997 and have remained good, 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 good friends ever since. So that's, that's what has happened. Mr. President. And then we went back to where we began. Uh, you drank <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In 2017, it was the same venue yes. whereby we were in reverse position. Yes. Yeah. And so that will take place this afternoon. But in the meantime, I thought it was important that we should have this few minutes together uh, to meet the members of your team. And, uh, also, take the opportunity to reassure the Ghanaian people of our determination to work together to ensure the seamless transfer of power, to continue to work together to deepen and consolidate democratic governance in our country. It's important for the future of Ghana and it is important for the future of our continent that the, the world should see a successful, functioning African democracy. And Ghana has the privilege of being in the category of successful democracies on our continent. It is our responsibility, our joint responsibility, to make sure that that reputation is maintained and consolidated. So this is the reason why I wanted to invite you here, 
so that we can have this first informal meeting as it were, and then we will then be in the position to go towards the formal meeting this afternoon at the end. Let me quickly introduce to you the members of the government today. The Chief of Staff is here, the Acting Secretary to the President, Ingoa Kohl the Foreign Minister, you know, Sir uh, Kohl-Sumon. Have we transitioned it? No, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> so we transitioned. I mean, it's March, is it? Or April. April. Oh, April. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. And then uh, the Minister of State and the Presidency, uh, your kinsman. <laughs> <laughs> Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Deputy Chief of Staff, and then the Director of State Group, and then officials in the Presidency and all the back here. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and let me uh, first uh, apologize. We're both under the weather. I think it's the after effects of a growing campaign. We have all kinds of uh, allergies. But um, I want to express my sincere appreciation to you. For that phone call you gave me, uh, congratulating me. I think it was a good mark of statesmanship. And um, it gives me a sense of deja vu, like you said, to be back here again after so many years. Um, members of my team, I'm sure they are all familiar. And Nana, who you referred to, General Mosquito, and Julius uh, Debra, my former chief of staff, and uh, Madame Bagarisaki. Mother Soya, sorry, and then uh, Dr. Kalisus Mahama, who used to be the head of the local government service in our time, and working at the administrative time office. And then my my niece, uh, Joyce Bauer, who is my spokesperson. And so we want to thank you for the courtesy and privilege giving us such, a, such short notice to pay this uh, courtesy visit and um, to say that democracy and Ghana is the winner after the electoral process. Uh, we think that uh, on the day, despite all the anxieties people have, Ghana has successfully done it once again. And so we can be sure that our democracy is safe and that working together across bipartisan lines we can continue to deepen and consolidate that democracy. And um, as you said, we are grateful that you nominated today to go through the beginnings of the transitional process. And then um, we nominated our members and they were selected <coughs> mostly based on institutional memory and experience. These are people, most of who worked with me in the former administration. And so we wanted some people with experience to combine with yours so that we are able to have a seamless transition. And so I want to thank you once again and uh, to thank the Ghanaian people for rising up to the occasion. And we look forward to continuing to work together. It's excellent. Media. Thank you, Media. Let's go. That's what is happening. Mr. President, thank you. Elect. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, as I said when um, I spoke after the declaration of results, I mentioned that um, His Excellency the President had uh, given me a call to congratulate me. And so I had the opportunity to thank him this morning for being that gracious to uh, give me that call. Uh, we had a very cordial meeting. Um, at the time he called, he suggested 11 a.m. this morning to have the preliminary meeting towards setting up the transitional team and uh, that meeting has just ended it was very cordial and um, i think we were very happy to be together um mr president has given me a brief on the security situation both internal and external and also a short brief on issues to do with the economy of course the transitional teams will drill down further uh, into these matters but um, I am happy um, at the assurance he's giving us that we're going to work together in the interest of Ghana to ensure a seamless transition. And I believe that even after that transition, it will be necessary for us to continue to keep a channel of communication uh, so that Ghana's democratic con uh, credentials are consolidated and um, 
we all work together in the national interest. And so I want to thank him for his time and uh, to assure him that on our side, we are very happy uh, to work together and um, we'll look forward to the successful work of the joint transitional team. I thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Thank there you. will be no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Ebreco, 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 Ebre